Remember Izzy, that little girl in NXT that Bailey snatched the shit off of her head and she cried and it was a big thing? Well, Izzy's like 15 and shit now and she's in the professional wrestling business, both as a wrestler, apparently, and uh, she's also a media, like me. She's a podcaster, podcast journalist, an interviewer, a YouTuber. And uh, she was on the Vicky Guerrero uh, Excuse Me podcast. And she talked all things Izzy and wrestling and fangirldom and blah, 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 blah. But what I wanted to hear most about and what I wanted to bring to you guys was her side of the story from the famous Sasha versus Bailey match. Where fucking Sasha became one of the biggest heels in fucking wrestling history as per the evil documentary on the Peacock Network right now. Where Sasha Banks snatches the fucking headband off of Izzy's head and fucking throws it and teases her. You're gonna cry. You're gonna be a little cry, baby. I'm gonna beat up Bailey and I'm gonna rub it in your face. Check out this clip. But literally, I had no idea. Like, I, you know, I was really excited for the match. You know, eight-year-old me was like, yeah, he's going to win. But, you know, I, Sasha, Sasha, the whole entire match, she was messing with me. And, you know, she, I, I think she was, like, taking Bailey by the hair. She was bringing her to the trunk. Yeah. Like, this is for you. And I, I don't know, eight-year-old me was like, Mm-mm, this is not it. And she throws her into the trunk, and then she walks up to me, and she takes my headband. I still don't know why I cried. I... Like, it's just a headband. But that moment, I, I'll i rewatch that moment sometimes and I'll just laugh. And I'm like, this is literally how people got to know me by crying. <laughs> I feel like from that moment, I really knew I wanted to be a pro wrestler and in the pro wrestling industry like Sasha and Bailey. First of all, Izzy's cool as shit. I've heard lots of other interviews with her being interviewed. Also, her doing interviews and she had that independent match with Effie, where apparently she beat Effie and won some kind of belt. I don't fucking know. It's the indies. Especially with Effie, shit gets weird. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, you got to just put that aside. If you're not as familiar with the greater professional wrestling industry, the indies, uh, you weren't aware that Izzy, she does a lot of like media scrum calls. She's out there. She's wrestling press. She's in the wrestling industry and she's made no bones about it that she's training to become a professional wrestler, that that's one of her goals. Be it, uh, She's also been a manager on the indies. So be it uh, a manager or a wrestler, uh, she wants to get involved in wrestling physically. Uh, to be a performer, but right now she's in the wrestling media. She's 15 years old only. Uh, you wouldn't know it by hearing her speak. She sounds as smart as like a fucking Renee Paquette. So she's going places. She's going to be uh, a big player in wrestling for years to come, both just on the media side, uh, but possibly in ring somewhere as well. The fact that she was able to build her name and build her stardom off of the incident that happened in NXT, props to her for that as well. And props to that match with Sasha and Bailey. Now, I don't remember, and you guys will obviously verbally slap the shit out of me for not knowing, but I know Sasha and Bailey, they did two matches. They had the really big one at the takeover. But they also had one at like a following takeover, which wasn't as big. Um, and it was, I think it was a stipulation match of some kind. I don't remember which one it was that Sasha went full heel and fucking snatched that shit off of Izzy's head. But when she did that and Izzy cried legit, she just freaked out because she was like, what, eight at the time? That sold Sasha Banks to me. Not And everything they did in that match, in those matches, was uh, th that takeover match specifically, I will cite as one of my all-time favorite wrestling matches, period. And that's why I always kind of argue when people say women can't hang like the men do. Um, but the best women's wrestlers are just as good, if not better, than most of the men. And certainly Sasha and Bailey are on an elite level, all their own. 
um, and, and the match that they had in them being best friends and knowing each other and being willing to be as stiff with each other as they were, uh, that plays into it too, you know, uh, have being able to have a match with your best friend or, you know, look at the FTR match, you know, you're able to pull chemistry out because you have that chemistry together, but Sasha going full heel with Izzy out in the crowd was something that we hadn't seen in wrestling to that extent. Uh, there's the occasional, I'm going to grab your sign and rip it in half kind of thing. And since then, we've seen MJF really heal on the crowd. But uh, for the most part, wrestlers, especially in the WWE, never really touched the crowd. They were never really involved. Luckily, Izzy was a super fan. Luckily, her parents were super fans. They were smart enough to know that wrestling's all a show and that nobody was going to harm Izzy. And I think they probably took good care of Izzy after and kind of let her come backstage. And, um, and she has become famous from it, wrestling famous, right? She's out there. She was able to build a media career a broadcasting career on top of being the girl that Sasha fucking snatched a headband off of and cried like a little baby in the crowd. But it made that match. It made that angle and it solidified Sasha Banks as a bona fide heel in professional wrestling. Uh, look at the, they did a whole evil episode on Sasha Banks because she's fucking, she's a nasty heel, a nasty heel. And it's she does great work. All of that was great. It was fucking brilliant. Um, by all accounts, it wasn't the work. It was just spontaneous. And that kind of magic in professional wrestling is what makes matches that will stand the test of time. And I fucking promise you that match with Sasha and Bailey will be talked about 20 years from now. Let me tell you something, brother. You can check out full episodes each and every Sunday right here on this channel, dude. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to take your vitamins and say your prayers, brother.